Today I'm covering some boxes and I have uh, constructed the boxes and I have cut these pieces of uh, covering material and folded them in half. These are the right length for doing the whole box without having to trim them off. So the way we start is to glue up one side and then I'm going to line the box right up to the fold leaving just a little bit of an area on this side for the flap to cover the corner. So before I move this any further I'm going to take my triangle and open up the cuts where the corners are. This relieves a lot of tension for when you're folding the fabric and it won't try to lift off again. So before we go any further I'm just going to crease this edge here and put the little corner down. That. And I have a little towel here to wipe my fingers if I get any glue on. And then we'll do the next side. And each time I'm making sure that the top of the box is lining up with the fold in the fabric here. So I will cut this again from the bottom of the box and from the top. So I can continue wrapping a box. Open up the last cut here. And then you'll see that it folds, you know, right into into position here. Now the this fabric comes just behind the corner. You don't want it to be right on the corner because the loose end of the fabric will catch as the box is in use. So uh, Take a little glue on the outside edge and then glue the, the box up to the fabric. And pull this down. And rub that. Now we'll close all the flaps on top and lay this down. So we can miter the corners on the base of the box. I'm using my fingernail here to sort of uh, fold the corner tight into the corner of the box, corner edge. Okay. So I'll take my triangle and put this onto the miter like that and draw it like that. I have a little trash can on my desktop so I can throw the pieces away. Now if you're left-handed and you're using my triangle you can do your cuts like this. Put it on the bottom and cut this way rather than cutting toward the center. You just cut off the outside edge like this. I can't do it left-handed but that's how you would handle it if you were left-handed. Now we'll put the triangle here. Cut this miter. Uh, 
I need a new blade. It's a little dull here. Open these up uh, with the roller. I use the heel side, you know, for this. Just put some glue on the box, and then we can fold the ends in and finish the bottom here. For the top, we're going to miter the corners. Make sure this is all down. Okay, I'm tight. I'll just run my fingernail across here and make sure these are all tight. Take your Olfa knife, lay it on the miter, stand it up, and cut all the way around. Okay, then open up your flaps. And with this little flap here, I usually just cut this off like that. Then, leaving your long sides, you know, towards you, I know how to take my scissors and just sort of cut a board's thickness off of this up to the miter cut. And then you just bring your scissors over and cut a board thickness away to remove the little triangle. That way when you close it, it's a, it's a single miter on the corner. This little flap will wrap around the inside to give this joint a little extra strength. Now if you are not sure, you can take the triangle and put this in here right at the board's edge like that and then use your knife to cut from the miter down like that and that will give you your very precise fit for folding the flap in so I'll do this on the other side because all these cuts have to be uh, symmetrical flaps to start gluing these in. And we do the two short sides first so we can wrap those corners on the inside. I'll do just a little touch on top of the box there. Bring this over with the folder. Rub it down and press down inside, trying to press everything flat and out to the edge like this. Uh, I'll do the same thing here just to get the flap out of the way and then we'll do the final rub down. Rub the top edge, top edge to make it square and then lay it on its side like this and push in with the chisel side of your folder. And I push straight to the back, and I'm turning it on the side here to put more pressure down in the smaller area. And then inside the box, if you have this little ruck here like this, take your folder, lift it up, and push down with your finger so that that extra bit of fabric will go onto the forward wall. We'll do that on both sides. 
and then use the chisel to push things down onto the floor of the box. Now we'll do the same thing here. Push, 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 push. And I'm going to lift up the corners here so that I can make it flat in the center. Push in with the chisel and then flatten it onto the floor. And I'll take this sideways here and use this and just press that corner tightly into the corner. You can use the point side too. And now we're ready to do the long flaps. up a little bit there on the corners and then these will fall right inside flush and the edges will go right into the corners so like we did before lay this flat and then put chisel so you can push into the corner at the bottom do the same thing here and then stand the box up and use the chisel side to push the fabric flat onto the floor of the box. Okay, then I'm going to use the corner here and just make sure everything is nice and flat and flush in the corners. have to do now is cut rectangles and cover the base and the inside and I'll do that after I finish the rest of these boxes I have a number to do today okay now I'm ready to uh, finish these boxes uh, I have cut a piece of uh, covering material that will fit just about an eighth of an inch inside the edges of the box and I'll just glue that out now and put that on. And there we are. And for the inside, I've cut a, another piece that will fit in. Always test it to make sure that it's going to fit because it will expand slightly, you know, when it's, you know, covered with glue. And now I'll just drop this in by putting one edge in first into position and then rolling it down into the box like that. And while it's wet, I can still slide it just a little bit if it's not quite centered or straight. That seems to go in pretty well. And then I'll rub this down with the chisel and flat side of my folder, making sure all the edges are down. with our finished and covered box.